Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from Death Squad Studios for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Here's Tony Hinchcliffe. Yay! Hello, everybody. Where is it? That one? Hello. Right there. Hello, everyone. Look at this. We're so good to be here. We are live in one of Red Band's many bathrooms. Uh, this is very exciting. Uh, this is what it's come to. This is the new era of Kill Tony. Sure, we did theaters and, uh, and, um, massive venues <laughs> and here we are now everyone we are in the back seat of a tesla <laughs> live streaming kill tony this is what it's come to we are one step away from being street performers actually that might be the next move we might be doing kill tony live on the streets we might just have to like go to a park and yep. just set up some amps that might not even be yep. a bad bad hey, idea we got to start improvising because yeah. This shit is stressing me. <laughs> I know. Every, every week we have a different studio now. That's how. Uh, I didn't even think we were going to have a show this week because because uh, you were out of town with Rogan. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit, what are we going to do? Yeah. No, I was back on Saturday night. This new Rogan life is pretty good. <laughs> we went from being on stage to Houston to being. Yeah. How was that? Because it's been, what, three months? It was unbelievable. It was the fucking greatest thing ever. I can't really. I don't know how to describe it. It's like uh, doing what you love to do more than anything. Uh, and then not doing that, which you did every day or every night forever for 13 years, and then taking three and a half months off, and then doing it at a great uh, at a great uh, place, Houston, Texas, the record holding city for one of my favorite places to go on the road, but record holding for most ever Kill Tonys on the road, and uh, you know they just fucking get it out there. Texas gets it; they always have. Uh, I've always gone there quite a few times a year and um so it was a fucking blast the first set you know figuring shit out you know you know because stand-up's weird it's not like a script that you memorize you're sort of feeling it and there were some parts where i was doing you know i, I mixed in a lot of new stuff but there's also parts where the confusing part was, was doing some of the old jokes that i had well tightened up before and I was doing the setups for them, like I was saying them into the microphone without really knowing what I was going to say next. Like it's like I, I remembered the setups and had to. Did you write? Did it make you write something new? Like like oh, I didn't even think about this. Like oh yeah, a lot of new stuff, a lot of very fun new stuff. Improvising off of Joe's Spotify deal, and uh, and um, some. Some Chris D'Elia material, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. really? Stuff I wouldn't do on a podcast, I do during my stand-up, so... Um, How did that work out? Really, really, really well. <laughs> 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 Turns out uh, people like uh, new, fresh, topical, fucking whatever. <laughs> Stupid shit. So yeah, it was a blast, and uh, here we are, the great Brian Redband, of course, Death Squad Studios, and uh, we have a special guest, David Lucas is here, everybody. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm glad that you're here, because yeah, you know, uh, uh, as you know, we always talk about dildos and booty holes <laughs> with you, and I don't know if you know this, but I've been getting a lot of dildos and booty holes uh, lately, and this episode <laughs> is brought to you by Adam and Eve, the number one adult toy superstore. Adam and Eve says the best part of staying at home is playing at home. Toys for men, toys for women, couples toys, every kind of lube and lotion, lingerie, and so many other sexy gifts. I actually used it. I, I bought something for my girlfriend, uh, and you, it was cool. It was easy to use. They have everything. And that this discount coupon code that we have took a lot off the, the amount that we had. Uh, they have vibrators. They have lube. They have adult movies, if you want that. And it gets shipped to you in a box so that your neighbors don't know what you're getting. And it's uh, it was awesome because uh, I, I can't wait to show you. Maybe I'll bring it to the next Kill Tony what I bought her. Uh, it's a good thing they put it in a box. It'd be weird if they had It'd be weird if they had like a clear dildo-shaped container. <laughs> well, it, it just doesn't say Adam and Eve on the outside of it. Right. So, like, you know, people don't. Discreet. Yeah. No, of course. You should all take advantage of the downtime right now and choose almost any one item and get 50% off at adamandeve.com with the code KILLTONY. When you do, you'll also get 10 free boredom-busting gifts, including six spicy movies, a three-piece bonus kit, and the best of all, free shipping delivered discreetly to your door. Just remember to use the code KILLTONY. That's KILLTONY at checkout for this amazing deal. Adam and Eve has thousands of products, so enjoy staying at home with Adam and Eve. 
Go to adamandeve.com, use that offer code KILLTONY to get 50% off just about any item, plus 10 free gifts. Use the code KILLTONY at checkout. Yeah. Ching, ching, ching. And it uh, goes on and on. After you have sex, after <laughs> you have a romantic evening, after you uh, finish sexually, nothing better to do. I don't know about you, Brian, but I like to eat some food. And I like to be lazy after having sexual excursions, so I Postmates it. If you're like me, you love Postmates. We love food, you love Postmates. But I love them more than ever right now because, of course, you don't have to leave the house delivered straight to the door. With what's going on in the world, they have created non-contact deliveries, so now when I order from local restaurants, everything gets left right outside my door. Yeah, and they also that you they also have Postmates pickup, which I didn't even know was a thing, and I used it the other day, uh, it, which is great because you could order from your favorite restaurants, and you could like you're supporting your neighborhood uh, places. I know that there's a few places in Burbank here where I've been reading that they might go out of business, and it's very depressing. So now you could go on Postmates and you could pick it up right there. Uh, and Postmates doesn't deliver just burgers and sushi; they actually make my life easier by picking up everything I need from Walgreens and Seven Eleven and dropping it off. Right Right outside my door. That's great. Now they just drop it off. They take a photo and then they send you a message like, hey, it's out front. Yep. Just download Postmates on iOS or Android. Find your favorites and get anything you want delivered within an hour. Anything you want. I've been getting, uh, we all know Vito's gives us pizza every single week. It is incredible. And I have become recently addicted to their chicken parm sandwich. Ooh. And uh, I get it delivered straight to my door. Sometimes I'll swing by, say hi to Charlie at the shop on Santa Monica, but, uh, and Las, I mean, La Cienega, not, but near Santa Monica. And, um, and yeah. So anyway, for a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries, download the app and use the code KILLTONY. That's KILLTONY for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Anything you need, anytime you need it, Postmate it. Yibbity yabbity bibbity bobbity. Hello. Hello. Good to be here. Exciting stuff. Let's get the show started. We have a band on this show. Every single week they commit to being different characters. This is a tight studio tonight. Uh, we are all very close together. So let's see what characters they are tonight. <coughs> I present to you the best damn band in the land Jeremiah Watkins and Joelberg Joel Jimenez, everyone. Here we go. Uh oh. I haven't heard this music before. This should be interesting. Uh oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. This is very exciting. I absolutely know who these two are, even though it's their first time on the show. I definitely know who these guys are from the hit video game and movie Mortal Kombat, ladies and gentlemen. It is without a doubt Raiden and Sub Zero. <laughs> Am I correct? You're you're right about this guy, but not me. Oh, who are you? I'm the newest Mortal Kombat character. I am the Koro Ninja. Is that a real thing? Yeah, we've had so many fatalities. They decided to add me to the game. Oh, okay, man, you really could have just been Sub Zero. <laughs> could have just rolled to that. But I mean, I, I fight to the death for a living, and I'm pretty scared being in this tight little space right now. Let me tell you. I mean, Sub Zero is such a famous historical character. What what like he freezes people? What's your special move? Stay over there. Oh, oh, are these <laughs> social distance? Wait, are these special like Corona versions of? Just me, but right before the show started, David accidentally spit in my eye, so I'm pretty sure I have it now. Okay. okay. Black people can't get that shit. Oh my god, this is Raiden and totally not Will Forte. Wait a second, what? <laughs> what is not? It's totally not Will Forte. What the hell? Wow. I started working at Trader Joe's, oh my god. I am so confused. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. But you really have to know Will Forte really well to... Uh... Lockdown on this one. Are you Will Forte? Is Will Forte playing Raiden? I'm a little bit. Uh, <laughs> listen, as I said, I'm I'm totally Raiden, not Will Forte. Okay, so in interesting stuff. Again, could have just been Raiden, but I guess you're Will. I, Forte. I wish you could see my giant smile underneath this mask, Tony. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. What a creative way to wear a mask, by the way. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're here with Raiden being played by Will Forte and some brand new <laughs> Mortal Kombat character. Koro Ninja. Koro Nin- I'm not even going to write it down. It's not even worth me writing Stay down. Stay over there! <laughs> okay. All right, this I This is the closest we've ever been in Kill Tony history. Yes, it is. This is where we are doing the opposite of what we're supposed to be doing during a pandemic. Oh, yeah. I forgot to turn on the, uh, the second air purifier. I brought an extra <laughs> air purifier. Did that go on? Dyson. Hey, hey, there it is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is fun. I have a remote control and a, uh, an air purifier, everybody. Okay, so let's get this thing rolling. We're here. We got everyone in this fucking room. Um, ladies and gentlemen, your first uh, comedian that we're going to watch a minute submission before has been on this show before. Um, he has uh, blown our minds with his uh, with his previous technical abilities. We liked him, so we told him anytime he wants to send in again, he can. Ladies and gentlemen, your first submission comes to us from Drew Williamson. Here we go. Here's a little music first. I got my fingers on the way, on the way, There you go. There it is. Drew Williams. Here we go. We're having a great year here at I Me Mine. Our product lines of aquarium decorations and houseplant GPS locators have redefined the tech sector. Today is the introduction of our super top secret project. We showed this to a group of investors who said, and I quote, we don't know what we are looking at. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to the iSharp. The most loud, powerful, wood, over-engineered pencil sharpener the world has ever seen. Let's see how it works. Simple boot-up process. Simple, easy-to-carry, five-step remote. Let's see how it does. Keep the RPMs up. Drop it in the easy to find receptacle. This one? <laughs> easy to find receptacle. Looks like we're almost ready. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. There it is. This is what our show is now, everybody. <laughs> what our show is now we went from we started the year with i believe 1900 people in a theater in vancouver and this is where we're at now we are now in a closet with one another uh i mean i've always been in the closet but now all my friends are with me there you go i'll beat joel to that joke and um who's joel (laughs) i'll beat koro ninja so stupid i remembered the name (laughs) underwear head man um, I think it looks very nice. <laughs> um, so here we are, and Drew Williamson is joining us. Hi, Drew. How are you? I'm good. How is everybody? We're good, man. We're good. We're hanging in there. Everything's great. Totally not about to have a fucking meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> Meltdowns with Tony. Yes. So, Drew, uh, that was awesome. As silly and as dumb as it absolutely was, that's 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 what we love here right now. How you doing, Drew? What's been happening in your world? Uh, not much, really. We are just running through the video games, all the free ones that we could find. We made our first purchase recently for my son, but it's a different world. Yeah, uh, we are gearing up for. I got a letter from my bosses on Broadway. Um, they're estimating anywhere from Thanksgiving to Christmas yep. to start opening things up. I actually read a so, thing today that said Broadway is planning on not reopening until January 2021. Did you read that at all? 
I haven't seen that update. But <laughs> I literally I read that today. Check emails. Broadway, yeah. No, I know, oh, man. What? We were. I was literally. Uh, I don't know if I mean doesn't matter, but I was talking. That's how fast things move now. Is I was talking with someone about the potential of uh, the comedy store and being back there in some form or another. And during the phone call with the higher ups at the comedy store yesterday, literally while I was on the a conference call with all of them, they found out that the mayor of Los Angeles <laughs> closed all bars and completely held everything up. So news changes quickly right now right. in this shithole time that we're living in. I was so mad because I was going to the comedy store I had open Friday night, the patio, and they, you could sit outside and have drinks. And I was like, you know what? I should go to that. You know, I'll just wait. You know, Tony's going to be back Sunday. Yep. Maybe I'll just go hang out with Tony. Yep. And then the next day they closed it. I was yep. like, fuck. <laughs> now I was, I mean, I knew it was just all too good to be true. First of all, I knew they would reopen when I was on the road. I knew right. that for a fact because that's how... It always works. And uh, they did. They announced it on Friday <laughs> when I was leaving. And it was open on Friday and Saturday or whatever. It was, Saturday. It was just Saturday, actually. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So There is good I, news. I got an email today. They're opening as a restaurant Thursday. What? Oh, opening thank at, God. Uh, Nothing more I crave than restaurant food from the comedy store perfect time for coro ninja to speak over you david uh can you explain one more time what uh... did i mention i fight to the death for a living so they're, they're gonna open as a restaurant thursday oh, that's okay cool. well that's great news yeah. and before that if you is... need any grocery needs just come on over to trader joe's i'll help you out so i was i was i'm the same i'm the same boat as tony i was like damn i'm on the road and they so, announced so, that day so literally, that's how fast. I mean, remember the, the what started this conversation is how fast news right. changes. <laughs> and as I'm talking about them opening and then closing, I find out live in front of everyone that they're opening Thursday as right. a restaurant. I got that like an hour. Oh, ago. they're just close. <laughs> hey, Drew, what was that machine that that was there an actual purpose for that machine that you were showing us? Yeah. So the wood the wood frame of that unit was it's actually a router tool for woodworking and my wife and son helped me just stack all the electronic pieces that we could find around the house just to make it as ridiculous looking as possible so yeah i got a little bit of artistic help from the family on that one Aww, that's and sweet. they were also in charge of throwing crap on me during the shoot so <laughs> that was a fun afternoon just the other day i love that that's so cool you seem like you're the cool kind of nerd. Am I right? <laughs> like I, I would like to say so, but you know, let me tell definitely you, in the nerd range. Let me ask you this because I love it when uh, you know when you have somebody that seems like one thing but has sort of a wild side to you. Adam and Eve has a bunch of deals going on right now with the promo code Kill Tony. <laughs> if you were to use a toy, or maybe you do use a toy in, with your wife in the bedroom, uh, what would that toy be? Oh, Legos a Bible. for sure. Oh, 100%. how many Legos can she fit? <laughs> yeah, are we talking about the big ones for I'm like little inside. kids? <laughs> <laughs> we talking about those giant Actually, Legos? The, or? Yeah, the Duplo, the, the Duplo. bigger blocks for yeah. little kids. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I used to have buckets of those things. Yeah, I remember Lincoln Logs? Those things were fun too. No, you're much older yeah. than me. That's the ten year. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's the Lincoln Logs. That, I, had, I, oh, I had Lincoln Logs growing up, that's but the, I'm a million years old. old. I'm freaking Raiden. <laughs> you guys remember building brick cabins? <laughs> yeah. That's you guys it. remember construction? Red Band was alive when Lincoln's actual logs were being built. <laughs> <laughs> he, he played Lincoln Logs with Abraham. Right. Red Band called, no. a, he called an ambulance when Lincoln got shot. <laughs> Not even Abraham Lincoln. Abraham from the Bible. That's, what, <laughs> that's who Red Band That tall played. motherfucker got shot by John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> now I'm curious. Am I the oldest guy in the building right now? Because Probably not. I just turned 49. Oh, yep. Last week. Wow. Yeah. You got red band beat by uh, four years. Yeah. Six months. Okay. <laughs> and you look good you can, to be 49. And bro. you have an R2D2 shirt. Oh, thanks on. Thanks very much. Yeah. Little hair gel and lotion. You know. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> so uh, that's fun, Drew. How old's your son? He's 12. Ooh. He's and he's edging towards teenager by every minute. Every time we have a discussion, it's a little more edgy. Oh, he's into edging. That's interesting. If you were, if you were, oh, no, 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 no. If you were black, your kid would be thirty. No, no, no. What's no. that? If you were black, your kid would be thirty. 
Because <laughs> they have kids at a younger age. Hell yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to say three. Like 49. How long you been with your wife, Drew? Uh, we're coming in on uh, 19 years in August. Wow. How long were you with her before you got married? Uh, we met in grad school. So uh, we were friends for a few years. And she went away to Korea. And I guess she did major makeovers. Because she came back pretty scorching hot. Wow. So that's when I decided to kind of rearrange my schedule for my <laughs> design career and make a little more time for her. So, yeah, but we've been together the whole time. That so, first uh, time you hooked up with her, how fast did you come? Oh, You seem like I, the kind of guy that would like be pulling it out of your pants and it just starts shooting all over the room. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm... Uh, a lot of nights are oh you're ready (laughs) (laughs) oh drew what else you been doing during this quarantine to stay busy any any other fun hobbies or anything i've i've made a major deal out of uh cleaning the house and my wife was uh excited for me to be doing more videos and being recognized for it but she said to me, the only thing that she's really worried about is that the, all the house cleaning is going to stop. Wow. So I have to just get up and vacuum as soon as I turn off the broadcast. <laughs> wow, what a bitch you are, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness gracious. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right, well, that's fun, though. How about the son? Why don't you get the son to learn how to do some chores around the yeah, house? Yeah, does, does he have chores? Oh, yeah. I've always wondered about that. Are you allowed to uh, give yeah. chores nowadays? Yeah, so I'm I'm working him up towards as many chores. As, well, I'm hoping he gets up and tells me he's going to do them. But it's always a good five-minute discussion before the chore starts. Right. But he, he hates vacuuming already, so he's uh, growing up perfectly. He's learning the ropes. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. When I was when I was a kid, I hated vacuuming too. I hated vacuums oh. like 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 new dogs hate vacuums. <laughs> I hated mowing the lawn. I thought that was the worst. Like I, I mean, power than power any. lawnmower or the push kind? Yeah, push kind. Oh, and push. we had a big that yard. Yeah. You running over Lincoln logs out there? <laughs> I did it with scissors. Yeah, just the metal blade one. I hated whitewashing fences back in the day. That's what I really hated. You did that, Raiden? Yeah, I'm a million years old, silly. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, yes. <laughs> Drew, before I let you go, is there anything else crazy about you that we would find very interesting from such a... You seem like you have it all put together. You seem like a good human being. You seem like you're very proper, like you have your... Uh, like you keep your uh, like you keep your toothbrush and your toothpaste like a perfect distance from one another <laughs> and everything like that. Like you seem very very well put together. Is there anything that would surprise us about you? Oh man, I always hated this question that <laughs> you would ask other people. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty much as you see it. Yeah, right. But uh, <laughs> do you have like a? Uh... But yeah, I would say the craziest thing I've ever done is this. Uh, sending in a video, making a comedy thing. Um, and definitely my first appearance at the Gramercy with you guys was probably, uh, that was just so amazing. What a flood of, uh, flood of emotion. I love that. Just amazing. That is fun. So you are, you you really are how you appear to be. I was just trying, I'm trying to branch out. Yeah, nothing weird about me. The camera accidentally zooms out. He's like choking his wife during the, uh... (laughs) During this interview. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Go to bed. Whoa, Whoa, Whoa. look at that. Oh, I'm not going to vacuum tonight. Tonight's my night to be a man. Screw the dishes. <laughs> this dude's a murderer. Dude. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is, bro. <laughs> I love it, Drew. Well, thanks for your submission. Uh, it's always fun. Again, you have an open invitation. You're a silly, silly, nerdy guy. I like your style. There he goes, Drew Williams. Great. Thanks very much, everybody. Love, love you, you, Drew. Nothing, Thank you, nothing. Drew. Fuck yeah, here we are on to our second comedian. I still haven't killed myself tonight. This is very <laughs> exciting. Um, ladies and gentlemen, your, your second submission coming up here in just a moment is coming from a man who has 
We met him before the pandemic, and meanwhile, during the pandemic, he grew to become one of the very famous characters on the show. He has, we've seen him interview uh, Mexican prostitutes. <laughs> we have seen him up the ante from there and interview Mexican transgender prostitutes. And now he is back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a submission from Manolo after this little bit of music here. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> oh, God. I've come to talk with you again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Manolo. And now, a music video world premiere. What? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, he covered Manolo, ladies and gentlemen. I've come to talk to you again. Incredible. Wow, Manolo has covered Michael Lair's hit song from a couple weeks ago, Ryan Bedpan. Hello, Manolo, can you hear me? What I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I Oh my goodness, you are living the high life down there in Tijuana. You know what <laughs> Pull your head back a little bit. She's got a little nipple popping out over there. <laughs> Look oh at my gosh. gosh. I, that, I brought, that's I brought a, up fan favorite. Carolina Baskins back in the house. Hey. hey. Wow. What's up? Fuck yeah. Mexican Hello. Mexican to the max, baby. Oh my goodness. That one to your, the one, the one to your left looks like she's questioning her life right now. Okay. <laughs> she, she, she only has some areola sticking out keep, there. Keep, keep, keep her off the screen until she puts that away. Have her lift her, uh, god damn. Damn, does it look like you're having fun right now. <laughs> Have her put her, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that totally. <laughs> Yes. I asked her if she knew how to speak English, and I and and I, and this is what she said. I'm not English. Okay, this is. Say it. You what I gotta gotta mean? You what I gotta gotta what I gotta gotta mean? That's what she said. <laughs> You guys, I don't know anyone who has thrived more during this pandemic than you, Manolo. It's literally, when we were at the comedy store, we were going through, you know what I mean? Every, we, our business was booming, and you were sort of, uh, you know, you weren't, you weren't at rock star status yet. You were sort of coming up through the ranks, and now... You're an absolute assassin. You have beautiful girls around you. you. You guys are obviously having the time of your life, except for the girl to your left again. She seems a little <laughs> bit miserable. She has no idea what I'm saying, so that's actually perfect. Manolo, you look like Spam Tripoli. Oh, man, you beat me to it. <laughs> Go ahead, Manolo. She's got the hat for you, Tony. Yeah, man. I love it, dude. Damn, I should have hit you up when I was in San Diego, bro. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. Hey, ben, hey uh, yo, I got a quick statement to make. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I didn't know if it was going to be relevant because I, 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 uh, the, the Ryan Bedpan, because I thought it was great. Michael Lair is in a mosh. So shout out to, to Michael Lair because I think he kicked ass that night. And uh, and I had to do that remix, that motherfucking remix. Maybe one time we could do it, uh, do the video, but both of us with all these chicks, right? Absolutely, yeah. dude. Absolutely. I love it. You guys look like you're having a blast. It Hell looks like... Yeah. It looks like you and the girl on the left are on Molly, and the one behind you is coming down from Molly. It's very <laughs> exciting. <laughs> I love the comments that you always have about the girl that is not me. 
Exactly. <laughs> hey, c- can you tickle the grumpy girl for me? I, I just want to see her smile a little. Yeah, look- Actually, she's, she's way awesome than the last time. Well, she, the she did. <laughs> <laughs> she's, 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 yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Fiesta. Yeah. <laughs> she just a baby just fell out. <laughs> Not the dunk of dunk, but dunk that drunk, baby. But dunk that drunk. My I got God. a quick statement, Tony. Yes, go ahead. Um, Whatever lying you want. in bed lying in bed alone wearing a condom is the same shit as driving in your car wearing a face mask. I have to say it. Sorry. Hey, you know what? I like that. That's a pretty. Uh, that's a pretty smart take. That's some pimp shit. Yep, you're ab- right. You're absolutely right, Manolo. Again, you okay. have you have become a genius during this pandemic. It is incredible. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, and yeah, we're here. You know, we're gonna be here. We're gonna actually, we're gonna go on shower break today. Oh, okay. There you go. And, and where can people find you if, like, one of us wants to maybe have a <laughs> open up their phone later? Red Band's asking for a friend. <laughs> Gianni Versanches. Oh, God. You got to spell that for us. Like Johnny Versace, but Sanchez. Oh, okay. Johnny. Okay. You're going to. No, Gianni. Gianni Versanches. So it's G I A N N I S A N C H E Z? Yes, sir. All right. Well, there you go. You're going to have one more Tony, subscriber Tony, I, I tonight. Gotta, go ahead. I was wondering if I could try a sort of Willie Montgomery type joke. Yep. If it kind of works. Yep. Go right ahead. Okay. So, so, fuck you and your South support. I ain't paying shit. But Mr. Jackson, we can't say that. Okay. And we'll just say Billy Jean. Um, uh, well, uh, that was a good one. Okay, the, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Basura. This is chaos, and I sort of <laughs> love it. Oh, my God. What has this show become? Hey, God damn. I have never... Oh, my... Oh. Okay, all Here's right. The microphone. Right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you, you, you must have broke into Tony's house, because how you get that? <laughs> 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 you son of a... How the fuck bitch. you got his dildo pistol? Did you oh. get those at Adam and Neve? Yeah, that's a new. Uh, hey, put it in your mouth and turn it on. <laughs> no. Stop. Do you prefer pink or gold? Huh? Oh my goodness! I'm black, so I want gold. You know what? I just had an idea. Kill Tony Tijuana, July. <laughs> Please. Kill- oh, I want to be there. We got the best spots. I'm telling you, Tony. We got the best spots. Are they open down there? It's, it, the border's closed, right? Is the border closed, Manolo? <laughs> Five minutes. You can take a, a U.S. shuttle. That I'll sounds... tell you the info. You guys want it. You can look it up and see if it, <laughs> if, if, it, if it makes sense. I get the feeling Jeremiah won't be allowed to come on this trip. <laughs> bro, you going to come, baby. Tony, totally. you're going to have to put that episode on OnlyFans, bro. <laughs> I've been happily married for one million years. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we'd have trouble getting down there. They would let Joel in, and not we wouldn't be able to so get him back. About it. I'm a tourist who can actually speak English, and they did not let me cross the U.S. because of everything. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please tickle that girl on the right. My God. Yeah, tickle that's, her. That's how I like my women. Let, let's see like if that. I can make her laugh. Can she hear me? She can hear me, right? <laughs> we actually can, can't really hear you that much. So that's why we're struggling a bit. Oh, okay. But, but yeah, yeah. Hola, 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 muchacha. Mi llamo es Tony. Uh, la, uh, um, la. <laughs> Tony le gusta los hombres todos los días. Le gustan los hombres, dice. A Tony le gustan los hombres. Le gusta chorizo y a. Uh, Y salchicha en uh, la boca y... All right. Gordochita. Tony Yo... es chupetoto. Tony es muy flaco, <laughs> sí. Y delgado. Hold on. Let's all talk at the same time. Can we do that? Sí. Yo soy americón. Amer- ¿Maricón? ¿Maricón? Yeah, sí. Yeah, it worked. There you go. See, I did it in three words. <laughs> No, I, I know, but it, but it worked. It worked. It's just a don't be gay in Mexico. Don't be gay in Mexico. 
Guess I won't be going anytime soon. I'm the first openly gay Mortal Kombat character. I love that. Character. Wow, he has a dildo and an electric toothbrush. That is exciting. <laughs> All right, Manolo, uh, this has been awesome, dude. You're fucking incredible. I mean, what can I say? This is... <laughs> Wait, is that a... Are you in a bathtub? Hot tub the whole time. Oh, fuck yes, dude. What pimp, is, bro? God, is it filled with puddle water? Yo, Tony, I'm, I'm sorry. We couldn't, we couldn't hear you that much because I had the jacuzzi turned on. So oh. maybe that, that was the bad timing, you know? Try putting water in it. It helps. If not, my jokes would have killed. Dude, Manolo, I might come visit you in uh, in Tijuana soon. Too, I just found out that I'm doing um, the La Jolla Comedy well, Store. Okay, Ooh. perfect. <laughs> oh. Honestly, honestly, it's pretty safe. I'm telling you, it's pretty safe. They got spots here. It's pretty safe. That's pretty safe. <laughs> pretty safe is always what I'm into. <laughs> July 9th no, through the 12th, I found out I'm doing uh, the La Jolla Comedy Store. How far is La Jolla from where you are right now, Manolo? 40 minutes. Oh, like 30. oh my God. All right. Oh, well. There you go. <laughs> if I come if I come back from that weekend in La Jolla with an itchy crotch, you know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because of Manscaped. That's right. <laughs> and it ain't because I had him an eight. So cool. What was that? Nothing. I love you, Manolo. You guys are amazing. What's your name again, sweetheart, with the phone? I am V. V. Vanessa. I love it. I love it. And the angry gr- and what's the angry what's the angry girl's name? Ooh, I'm a badass. That's why. <laughs> she is a hostage. <laughs> we'll visit you guys someday up there, so. Absolutely. You're always more than you're definitely welcome 100% and uh we're looking forward wanna, to it. Uh, I'm a wanna be comedian Mexico, so. Well, you got a spot at the ice house. <laughs> uh, whenever you want. Not if there Trump has anything to do with it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Manolo, you're the best. We- the darkness, my, my no, thank you very much. Uh, I'll be keeping the party going till next Monday. I, you guys need me. I love it. Absolutely. Send us a submission anytime, Manolo. You're the best. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye ladies. Bye, bye. Let us see the Wow. That's the life, bro. It really is. <laughs> the last thing you want to be two spots into this show is jealous and horny, but here we are. <laughs> okay. Um, there you go. We have another submission, ladies and gentlemen. This man became famous uh, on this show just a couple weeks ago, and he was um, doing a parody of Manolo who we just had on, and now he is back, ladies and gentlemen, it is Robolo. Here he is. There you go. Very good. Here's Robolo. Hey, Tony. Robolo here again with my buddy, Sketchy Eddie. What's up? Yeah, he's got the hookup to the Laguna Gale Cartel. I'm going to tell him a few jokes for my new minute. Get it? It's my fucking dick. On our way to the Laguna Niguel Cartel. Um, anyone else mistake Harvey Weinstein for Harvey Firestein, the gay Jewish guy from Independence Day? <laughs> Get in my office and watch me shower. <laughs> huh? uh, why couldn't the leopard play hide and seek? Because he was always spotted. Because he was a pair of pond legion. <laughs> that was real funny, right? <laughs> oh, hey, 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 come on, stop. Hey, what's going on? Not oh, another school. Hey, Robolo, don't worry, dude. This is great. They're jumping you in. We're not going to jump him in, fool. We're going to dump him in. Poo-poo, mierda, caca on his face. He needs poo-poo on his face to join the game. Oh, sorry, Wabola. Ryan's dead. He's holding in all day, man. What the fuck, a werewolf, too? I'm getting too old for this shit. 
You are now part of the Laguna Niguel cartel. <laughs> what is your name? Schoberg. Uh, Schoberg. I thought I heard Robolo. Who is Joelberg? I'm confused. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yes. yes. Wow. That was hilarious, though. Yes, we're, it was. Rabolo. These are getting so dope, bro. Like, they put an actual production and For sure. Effects up in well, this. Damn. Yeah. 100% great. of the submissions I, so far. I Very high that. production Hell quality. Yeah. I mean, if we were to put it side by side to these episodes three months ago, it would be a shocking difference. Um, the show has definitely evolved into a uh, sort of a sketchy sort of production. Uh, he said he never got a password. Oh, well, that's it's weird. Seven sevens. <laughs> there you go. Seven sevens is the answer. Seven sevens if you're watching. So type seven in seven, seven times. times because that's the it's best funny. password. Yeah, it's funny because none of the other people even had to enter passwords. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. Indeed. All right, and I think he's coming in. Yeah. No, okay. right. maybe any yeah. second now. Uh. The poop shit did make me laugh, and I, I feel ashamed because that's you know my thing. But it that, didn't make you laugh. No, it did make yeah. me laugh. Yeah, that's a that's a Robolo special that that has been in all of the Robolo uh, submissions. It, I thought it was funny too, and then the werewolf came and it really got me. The werewolf really fucking got me, and the bad voiceover on the uh, the guys, great, perfect. Incredible. It's pretty amazing that like that Manolo's covering stuff Michael Lehrer did, and now Robolo's covering Manolo. Manolo. Yep. There, oh, there's, I don't even know who I am anymore. Yeah, it almost seems like there's a flow to the show that. Uh, oh yeah. Stay over there. <laughs> it almost seems like there's almost seems like someone puts thought into this instead of just showing up with underwear on their head and <laughs> shaking peas around. Beach oh, it looks like these callers actually know <laughs> how to have fun. Oh, wait, shaking that's your underwear? Piece. That's a oh, No, it's a ninja mask! <laughs> how fucking dare you? That's a swimsuit, bro. That shit is corduroy. What do you know about swimming? Oh, damn. Coro, Coro ninja. Look, I fight to the death, all right? Oh, my God. We all... <laughs> Tony said shaking peas around. <laughs> yeah, what are those? What's in there? They're beans. <laughs> beans? I got them from Manolo. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a, sh- <laughs> it's a shaker because you said you wanted things nice oh, and mellow God. tonight. That yeah, no, funny. it's great. I agree. It's pr- absolutely perfect. Uh, what a great. While we're waiting, yeah. Uh, uh, Jeremiah, how was. Uh, you were gone for two weeks. A lot of people thought you quit. <laughs> yeah. I, I forgot your name. Sorry. Uh, uh, it's 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 freaking Raiden. How was uh how was where you were? Actually, uh, I went back to uh Kansas City. I went on a I went on a, a secret trip there. And uh, Overland Park. Uh, well now Olathe, but Overland Park is where right. Raiden is yeah. from. Yeah. <laughs> There's as many black people in this studio right now as there are where Jeremiah was, by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> what the, if you're like, hey, I wonder what the numbers in Olathe, Kansas are of uh, black people. <laughs> this many. That's the answer. It's actually not true at all. My mom has a black neighbor. We hung out and played pool. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. They may have just been doing blackface in, in Kansas. <laughs> What do you think about Aunt Jemima and all this shit going down, David? Bro, that shit sucks, man. Why they try to take black people ask for equality, and now white people try to take black people off of pancakes? What do you put a white woman on there? I saw I saw Aunt Jemima at the grocery store. I was like, should I just buy a lot of these? Yes, that should be worth a lot of money. Yeah. Before we guys really care about the logo on your syrup that much? Before we fucking have Aunt Susan, (laughs) just eat the fucking syrup. Who gives a shit? That's a really fat get rich quick scheme. (laughs) <laughs> is buying up all the Aunt Jemima's yeah. and being like, I'm gonna, these are gonna be worth something someday. These are the bro, new beans. Never know, though. Brian yeah. thought that's what years? sipping on syrup meant. It's yeah. true. It's just like gold, bro. You can and- sell them on the black market, or is <laughs> now they have to change the name of it, though, to the. You know uh, what else the they're changing, bro? Equality. They don't want people to use the term master bedroom anymore. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, no shit. This shit I, is getting out of hand. That. See, what's crazy is that I heard about that, and I'm like, why? And then I'm like, oh, shit. And so, like, people are learning about racist things that they never even thought of or knew before. Like, I never thought the master bedroom had to do with... Same. What bedroom the... Massa. I don't even think black people knew that, though. I don't think anybody (laughs) fucking knew that. Says the white guy. (laughs) They want you to call it the primary bedroom. I'm still calling my shit the master bedroom. There's a bunch of rich white kids right now on the internet that (laughs) came from an all-white neighborhood Googling, like, what can we change? (laughs) I want to change things so that I feel like I made a change for the better. And they're finding out all this shit. The Lando Lakes lady is gone. It's just the... Uncle Ben's rice? Which, yeah. to be honest, that, I mean, they I mean, should just change it to Peter Parker's Uncle Ben. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Peter Parker, that was his uncle? Yeah, that was uncle his ben. Uncle Ben. Yeah. That is so weird. You would think they would have named his uncle anything other than Uncle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, like, we can pick any name for his uncle. It'll be, what do we go with here? I think rice sales would actually skyrocket if they change it to Uncle Ben from Peter Parker yeah. from Spider-Man. Because there's so many Marvel fans. There's so many freaking Marvel fans out there. Yes. <laughs> Pretty wild. <laughs> yes, there are. But which which Uncle Ben would you have? Like which Spider Man movie? It's mm. a good question. Welcome back to Nerdsville. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not we're, the black one. We're, we're gonna bring Drew Williamson back to uh, join us here. <laughs> not the black one, huh? You can't bring the, is the black one. His his uncle name Ben. Yeah, black? yeah. It's the same character. Is it just their black? black? <laughs> well, how is it the same? No, the, no, he's talking about no. Miles Morales. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Miles Morales is different than Peter oh, that's Parker. Right. You're right. You're it's, right. A diff, it's, it's, yeah. it's a different. It's a different universe. Deal, ben. Dude, why don't they just put Spider Black Spider Pig on there? Wow! Welcome <laughs> back to what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Stay over there. <laughs> they should put Three Six Mafia on the syrup. Do we have any uh, update, Joel, on uh, on Robolo? Haven't heard anything. Right. His ass is uh, canceled. Hold on one second. Here. I'm supposed to be in uh, Tempe at the end of the month, I guess. Oh, I guess yeah? that's happening. Are you texting with him, Joel? Tempe uh, I tried, yeah. End of July. I sent him the password. Come check it out. Headline in a couple nights. Did improv. he get He got sent the link? What do I, what do I work in a sausage factory? Okay. <laughs> I still don't know the answer to the question I just well, asked. You know, I sent him the password. You know what I was just thinking? I fight to the death. <laughs> I was just thinking, this show has a really nice flow to it. I like it. It, it seems more yeah. laid back. It actually it, really it, does. It's like nice and chill. You know what yeah, I mean? It's cool right This now. is always the part of the show where Jeremiah calls out something weird about the show that's not even happening. Well, I tell you what, uh, I watched the Ice House episode. It's a weird energy in here, am I right? <laughs> I watched the... I will fuck now we didn't even notice again. I watched the Ice House episode recently and uh, <laughs> before the first quarantine episode. Yeah. And that was one of my favorite episodes because we were all that chill. Was fun. We were hanging out. William was wasted and everyone <laughs> we were like babysitting a little kid and yeah. shit. But I thought it was it was a good time. Totally it's fun. I mean, dad. you know, we could always just fucking Mix do a podcast. Up. We always could. I don't know. I just think that sometimes, you know, we got to keep some submissions going and talk with people. And now... Now that it's evolving naturally, just like everything does, you know, you go with the flow, yeah. right? We didn't force people like, oh, you must do stand up. It must be a stand up submission. And now these things are coming in funny and they're getting literally more creative every week. And uh, I like I, the sketch aspect a yeah. lot. That's cool. Yeah, certainly. We went from stand up oh, to sketch. Sketches we're just, were, are great. I think yeah. I like that better than the con- uh, stand up comedy, especially when people are taking the s- sketches and kind of like, uh, adding on to each other's sketches and making like a timeline. Exactly. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, Absolutely. Developing characters. Now yeah. you got characters. Yeah. He said, uh, and he now said, I'm we'll- struggling right now to get in. It won't let me in. <laughs> well, you have right, to, well, do you have to admit them? Yeah. I'm waiting for him to be to try. Mm. Huh? Yeah. All right. Well, I will say this. Well, the video was dope. Yeah. Robolo, the video was dope. I'm sorry. We can't get you in. I wish DM you me and tell out. me what you use for that fake shit. I want to know. Yeah, that. <laughs> why do you want to know that? <laughs> Out of all the things you could have asked, <laughs> I don't know what that fake shit is. <laughs> all that, right. that video was great, but where do you get your poop from? Where that shit come from? All right, well, it looks like Robolo's not going to be able to make it in. So. Yeah, this motherfucker. <laughs> um. Should we just move on? Maybe and then the, if he comes back later, we'll... Uh, yeah, yeah, let's try that. Yep, and we'll talk more about the making of that Robolo submission if Robolo comes in later. That was Robolo, ladies and gentlemen, doing a parody of Manolo, who did a parody of Michael Lair's 
Ryan Bedpan, which was a parody of Brian Redpan. So here we go. Moving along, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the brother in cursive, the one, the only, the big red machine, yeah. Patsy Klein's craziest of the crazies, one of my favorite top young rising comedians in the world, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for William Montgomery. Yeah. Please stop. <laughs> hey, cheers, y'all. Uh, please take a seat. Uh, what's up? I was metal detected earlier. Uh, the Dixie Chicks. What about my toe and shit? Uh, a lot of people want to want to shit on Chris Delia, but that's not his fetish. Whatever happened to the stop? And move away from the vehicle guy. No, really. Whatever happened to that guy? Uh, Chris Angel's greatest trick is how he made himself disappear. It's pretty obvious a black guy named it Cracker Barrel. No, but seriously, I want to give a rest in peace to Judy B- Judith Barcy. She was uh, the little dinosaur on that dinosaur movie, late 80s. Judith Barcy's father shot her in the head, tried to burn the house down, make it look like an accident. I just want to give it up for Judith Barcy. Tonight, y'all, I got COVID virus. <laughs> All right, William Montgomery, there you go. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, William, turn your uh, camera sideways. Yep. Hey, Red Man, turn your camera that sideways. a little bit slower, you bitch. Why? I got COVID <laughs> virus. Turn your camera sideways, William. Jesus. General Robert E. Lee, turn that shit sideways. There you yeah. go. Very good. Wide screen, motherfucker. Yeah, nobody ever wants to talk about him. General Robert E. Lee. They took David, the statue down. You're going to bring that shit up tonight? <laughs> What's up, man? What you drinking tonight? What do you mean, what am I <laughs> everything <drinking> tonight? A <laughs> little bit of high C. Uh, <laughs> mixed with a little bit of bunch. You better leave mixed that. Mixed with a little bit of Sprite. Leave that kerosene alone, bro. You mixed with what? Stop drinking that kerosene, dog. What are you saying? What does that mean? Is that a black guy? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. William, William I, al- <laughs> I always feel like William's like one drink away from just saying the N word on this show. It's he scary. said it to me before. Yeah. Really? He in always person. says hey, what it. What pussy in person, said yeah. that? What pussy said that? I said that. That was Koro Ninja, one of the newest yes. members of the Mortal Koro Kombat. Koro Ninja, I haven't liked you. Since five days ago, I swear to God, I will break into your parents' crib or house, whatever you want to call it. He got your girlfriend underwear on his face. Don't fuck with me. Stay over there. (laughs) Don't fuck with me. William, how you been doing this week? What's going on with your mental health and things like that? I bought, Tony, I bought $400 worth of board games on eBay. I bought Two hundred dollars. It's a good investment. Worth of the sub. Do you really believe that, Tony? Yeah, those are all going to be worth a lot more money. <laughs> Have you bought any uh, Anjumima syrup lately? <laughs> Can you say that a little bit slower, you bitch? <laughs> William has a little fucking fire to, to him right, tonight. You to be black people. It's hard yeah, for him to I'm understand things. Tonight. What'd you just say, David? <laughs> You've been hanging around too many black people to my you. What'd bitch. you just say, David? Too many black girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny it looks like you're actually I looking at him here in the studio what, Tony? it looks like you're actually looking at david in the studio with the where the way the tv's angled and everything went and now it looks like you're looking at me whoa now, now you're, you're looking, looking at, at joel. jeremiah's crotch yo Coro here's Ninja. something i wrote hey jeremiah how have boogie nights been on wednesdays 
What does that mean? Will you say that slower, you bitch? Oh, Koro, come on. You're going to anger him. Hey, Jeremiah, how have boogie <laughs> nights been on, on Wednesdays? Wednesdays? I don't really get it. Can you explain that a little bit? Come on, Yosemite Sam. Two years ago, Jeremiah and I, before he met his wife, he showed me the ways of whatever you want to call it down in Thailand. We were having <laughs> sex with people. Wow. In my hotel room, Jeremiah was on fire. This is if you want to call it. This is wild because we know everything William Montgomery has ever said is 100% honest and true. So, yeah. Jeremiah, what do you think about these accusations? Uh, they're not actually accusations. I'm being outed right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cancel. Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah, I was on fire in Thailand having sex with people. Walked up the steps and we shot her. And then I said, nobody ever wants to talk about that. And Jeremiah, you said, William, you're so funny. Just maybe. <laughs> what else did Jeremiah say when you were in Thailand? Oh, I already know what. <laughs> you freaking you turd. You freaking turd. Inchcliffe, I saw you motioning to Red Band to get this ready. I can't believe you would do that to me. William, what else did Jeremiah say? Oh, yeah. What else did I say over there in Thailand, William? Eyes. I just got $8,000 from the government. I'm buying a house. Black lives matter. <laughs> Jeremiah, I told you, you can't buy an $8,000 house. We're not still in the Orient. Hey, William, what else did I say? Do I have your intention? <laughs> I take no, responsibility. You said, you said to me... So, Judith Marcy, uh, I get it. You're sad her father killed her. Is it true she was the little girl in the cartoon? I think it was 1989. The fuck uh, are all you? All dogs go to heaven. What are you, you were, talking about? Who's said something about that? I mean, why do you bring that up? That's not fucking he, funny. Hey, how's work, though, Will? For real, though. How's He's just talking about our history together. That's it. That's all it is. How's work? How's my work? I got fired two weeks ago. <laughs> Man, you just started working last week. Yeah, I started working at at Walmart. Whatever you want to call it. What do you? I got fired two weeks ago. What do you? I sell shampoo. You need a bottle of water, shampoo. bro. That was my next question. What do you do at Walmart? Clearly, you're the shampoo guy. You need a bottle of water and a nap. Okay. <laughs> uh, wow. Where is he at? It, this does not seem like... He's at a Cabo Cantina. The backyard that we're used to. Yeah, is this a different backyard? Are you wearing a shirt? This is a different place. Are you no, I'm not wearing a shirt. Wow. wow look, see the red dot. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, William. Oh, jeez. Oh, William, you are shaped like a... <laughs> Coffee. I'm having fun tonight. I'm shaped like a what? Like uh, like a uh, a coffee uh, mug pot. Like, like a, a pot. coffin? No, like a coffee pot. Like yeah. what you pour coffee yeah. out of into a cup. Like the tea kettle like from... Like a coffin. Yeah, like the Kool-Aid Man pitcher. You're telling me I'm shaped like a coffin? Actually, yes. A coffin works as well. <laughs> uh, you get wider in the middle. The as tea, you go down. The tea kettle from Beauty and the Beast. Yep. Shaped like the ghost from Super Mario. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was really good, you bitch. I'm sorry, can you say that slower, Mario. you bitch? You faggot. Oh, oh Whoa. shit. You're trying to get canceled, bro. Wow. Right, so you're going to have your YouTube page with a I'm bunch of... you're lucky you're not in the fucking studio July right four. now. Oh my Y'all do God. the math on that one. Oh, you fuck. The, you're not going to be able to I've do anything. I've had today. enough. Judith Barcy is in the grave. Who's Judith Barcy? Final question, then we'll she let you go. She murdered in by her father. Oh. Late 80s, out here in Los Angeles. And Tony, honestly, why I bring it up, I'm worried I'm going to get murdered. Wow. There is someone who won't stop snail mailing me. What is snail mail? It's the uh, regular Hard USPS. Copy. All right, William. I, I baited you into that one, Tony. You got hey, me. Hey, Tony, what about next week I can show up at the studio? Oh, no, no uh, chance, dude. <laughs> hey, Jeremiah, what about next week I can show up at the studio? Yeah, we can talk about it. There's not enough. Okay, uh, you 
punk? Oh my god. <laughs> I just said we'll, we won't talk about it. Like, you yes. You fucked with me two years ago, dude. I got a bitch pregnant. Oh my goodness. We're fine. I out. have a child. I said I'll have you on the show. Calm down. Huh? I have a kid. God. <laughs> William, I'm going to have you on. Indiana. You What's... better be glad you ain't black, bro. You would have been on guys shot by ch- the police. What? My kid's black? <laughs> William, what's your kid's name? What did you name your child that you're not a father to? What's the kid's name? Sunflower Seed. <laughs> Sunflower Seed. That's funny. No, William, what's his real name? I want you to answer this. Uh, David Nickel. <laughs> Whoa. What did you just say? Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to say that you, word. You should be saying David that. David Nickel. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> it's my three-year-old son, and he don't give a shit no more. Wow. Y'all are talking about COVID. He's got it, and he's getting on airplanes. Wow. The three-year-old's just getting on airplanes by himself? He's getting on airplanes. <laughs> I'm messaging him with his earplug, his ear thing, mm. Mm. and he's making people sick. Okay. All right. That sounds we good. We don't care anymore. We're infecting everyone. Hmm. My goodness. I bought $400 worth of Monopoly boards on ebay three nights ago why'd you do that i don't give a shit anymore tony why did you buy all those monopoly boards william because i don't care anymore man i think i can jump off of a one-story building do it right now do it do it this will be podcast history ladies and gentlemen last week he climbed a tree (laughs) this week he's going to jump off of a one-story building this is the first time this has ever been done not only in tony what a great idea yeah it was your idea I'm kidding. It's a joke. Oh, okay. You sobered up dead, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I sobered up dead. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I jumped off. I got through. his shit together. I didn't care no more. This is like a. T- I heard about <laughs> Judith Barcy getting killed by. All right, all right. All right. There's a limit to how many Judith Barcy references this is I like can have. It's like a tape that the cops find in an abandoned house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, William. Hey, was that a Hispanic person? Yeah, yeah it was. A you little fuck. Bit low. Yeah. yeah. We feel like we're watching the Blair Bitch Project right now. Oh. Oh. That was hilarious. Who said that? Totally Raiden. That was Raiden. Yeah, what is this? Raiden. Four Leaf hey, Cloverfield? Raiden, good job. Okay. I'm now going to move back to Memphis. Okay. My comedy's not working anymore, Raiden. That was hilarious, w- you bitch. When did William, you guys start the comedy? William, absolutely hilarious. I love that. Uh, I love that you're still uh, writing jokes. Um, that's going to keep that uh, that muscle strong for you. You have a very silly style that still works during this pandemic, even online, and I absolutely love it. You had Red Band and I almost fall out of our chairs on your "Please Stop" while the band was playing music. <laughs> absolutely hilarious timing and execution of that. And uh, at some point, y'all let me. I want to come hang with y'all again. No. We are, we are. We're going to get. Uh, we just need. Uh, we just VR, need VR. VR. Yeah, we just need seven more Dyson air purifiers, and then <laughs> Spencer, Spencer Edwards. There you go. There goes William Montgomery. Everybody, this is the part where you just start saying random made up names. <laughs> now you got to get rid of them. <laughs> Judith Barcy, Spencer Edwards, David Nichol. <laughs> yeah. Well. That's William Montgomery. You know him, you love him, and we have gone uh, during this pandemic missing some of our favorite uh, legends of Kill Tony, um, some of our favorite human beings, and one person that we have not spoken with in absolute months is, without a doubt, one of the most famous uh, people in the history of the show. She signed up at, I believe, the age of like 61 for her first time. She got on. She has bucket luck like nobody else's business she is a a magical spirit and a super nice lady on stage and off she's writing she made a lot of friends in the comedy business at the comedy store and uh i love her she reminds me of my mom and she's a sweet sweet spirit ladies and gentlemen this is a submission from and the return of aphrodite some music and then here's Aphrodite, everybody. Here we go. Hey, Tiny. I'm so glad to be back on the Kill Tiny show. Tiny, I so miss you so much doing your show out of a baby basket at the comedy store. Everybody just love you. You're so tiny and adorable. 
Uh, well, okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm just doing something to entertain myself because of this motherfucking goddamn coochie larola pussy and the juices flying out the back of the head. Fucking virus killing people and shit. You can't go out and get no dick and play with nobody. I'm involved in my own motherfucking house. I'm fucking involved in my own motherfucking house. I'm fucking totally traumatized with this shit. I had to do something for I losing my goddamn mind. I went out and bought me some dick. You can say what you want. I did. I bought some dick and I don't give a fuck what you think. And I take your dick therapy before I lose my motherfucking mind. Oh, well, I lose my mind. It's wrong, Coochie LaRona. You got to stop it. There you go, Aphrodite. Yeah. Aphrodite, hello, my love. How are you? Can you hear us okay? Yeah. I, <laughs> hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. Uh, Watch my, my Manolo just pops out of the back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Aphrodite, how do you feel about them removing you from the bottle of syrup? <laughs> well, they can kiss a duck's ass because I'm still going to be surfing and sweet motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, they could take away Aunt Jemima, but nothing's going to keep you from crawling on a bed of pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> This thing is stupid. <laughs> Fatality. Oh, boy. Oh, oh shit. Look at those oh, no. fucking things. Hell bet, yeah. It, Aged like a fine wine. Look at you. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> a lot of people don't know this, but I actually... um Seen her titties before? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I got I got a much bigger laugh than I thought it would get. Six months ago, Tony had a bad night. But uh, when the pandemic started and they started closing bars down, uh, one of the last things that I did was I was on um I had just done a spot. I'd closed down the Ha Ha Cafe. I was fucking jonesing for stage time, but none was to be found. And I knew bars were closing that night or whatever. And I saw on Twitter that the uh, top shelf brass band was performing on some uh some late night gig on vine street and i'm like you know what i'm gonna i I don't have any i don't have shit to do right now i'm gonna go support them for the first time uh instead of them coming to our show and i went and afro was killing it on a balcony singing her fucking heart out the band was banging it was so cool i'm so glad i made it out there so uh yeah yeah you're the best afro What? what You really made our night. I love that. That was fun. We got to kick it for a bit afterwards. We all hung out. Um, uh, So how you been doing, Afro? How are you? Tony, I have been doing fantastic. I've been going out ever since this bullshit started. Ain't stopped doing nothing. And uh, we're seeing friends in Long Beach, and I'm going in the studio with Top Shelf Brass Band. We got some hot new music. We're going to let you have it first, Tony. I love it. I love it. You don't. You think COVID's a hoax? Are you a denier that the disease exists? Well, let me ask you this: Do you know what COVID means? No. Go ahead. Tell us. Is that one of your cousins? <laughs> no, uh, but uh, you know, knowing this damn history in this country, it probably is. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, for those who don't know, COVID means certificate of vaccination ID. What fucking Facebook post did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here, man. <laughs> fuck out of here. You got a fucking blinged out booger in your nose, nigga. Oh, <laughs> come on. Be <laughs> nice. Be <laughs> nice, <laughs> Jeff, bro. Hey, man. Your hands belong on a railroad worker. Get oh, come out. on, David. Don't roast Staffro. She's a sweet little thing. <laughs> You'll be the new model for the Pillsbury Dough Company. I didn't know your titties <laughs> was that big, Aphrodite. I'm drunk, but. And then- <laughs> 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 I did not know them bitches was like that. The fuck? You always got all them bags with you at the comedy store. I ain't never seen Afro has the most amazing bucket luck. I mean, I absolutely love her. I think she's a sweet spirit that mixes in well uh, with the with the chaos on this show. She is proof. Her getting so many opportunities on the show that the show is not misogynist as so many people, you know, claim shows to be nowadays. It's not racist. Clearly, we're not ageist. You're proof that we are good people. We're not against. Yes, we're not. Wa- we're not waitist. October 10th. Oh, wow. Wait, say that again. 
I'll be 65 October 10th. It's going to be 10, 10, 20, 20. I fucking love that. You are a little spitfire, you. <laughs> what do you got a man. Oh, you got a man now? Hey, me and had the same one. Oh, okay. Uh, are you sitting on him right now? Where he at? Oh, he was just over here the other day fucking me real good, okay? Oh, oh, how damn. old is he? My age, he's one year younger, but he's built like Hercules. He's 6'3". Oh, okay. oh shit. Put your ass out, baby. Put your the spin on the wheel. <laughs> no, I, I'm not trying to fuck. I'm not trying to fuck. I was. I just didn't never know that. Huh? But anyway. What are you gonna do with that keyboard? You got a song lined up or something? You gonna give us a little diddly? I've been writing songs at home because I felt people were so sad, and I wrote this song called "We Gonna Be All Right." All right. Kendra Lamar. Do 30 seconds or a minute, yep, great. let's do 30 we seconds. We gonna be all right. Let's do 30 <laughs> seconds of it, Afro. Okay. My hands are shaking. I've never done this before. That's it's called right. diabetes. It's all right. <laughs> oh, shit. Got a, got a better drummer than we have. Uh-oh. What happened to her? <laughs> shit was connected to the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Intro to keyboard, nigga. <laughs> 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 there you go. Oh, yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. Oh. Y'all, you know she's not gonna do 30 minutes. <laughs> you know that, bro. This is gonna be three minutes. Don't you worry, my love. Hey, we alright. Yes, we are. We there it is. Right. We gonna be all right, Aphrodite. Thank you so much for that incredible submission. For I mean, for that performance. <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna be playing this for three more hours, long after we end this Zoom call. She's gonna still be playing. I love it. You say you were right. Yeah. Skr skr. We love you, Aphrodite. We love you so much. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you, Tony. Everybody love you. That's right. The great Aphrodite, everybody. Take it for me now. Take it for me. All right. That's fun. Adorable little change of pace there from all the uh, from all the uh, the white people and the uh, and the comedy portion of the show. A little visit from Aphrodite. She fucked up a whole sausage to make that sketch. That is true. That was, that was you don't think not, she ate it after? <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah. That was not Adam and Eve uh, product right there. That was fresh from the butcher. Yeah, that's fucking El Super. If you had to do butt or her vagina, which one would you do? If you had to? Yeah. This is one of the weirdest. Uh, titties. <laughs> no, it's only one or two. The titties look 28. One or two. Which one would you do? <laughs> it's an interesting question. Uh, vagina or butt if you absolutely Leap had to. to. Yeah. I go butt. <laughs> Why? Explain your answer a little bit. Because I know that pussy got <laughs> Aphrodite Aphrodite's 65 still fucking that pussy got 300,000 miles on it. Yeah, but what about her butt? That's yeah. like 500,000 shits. <laughs> yeah, but black girls ain't really into anal like that. <laughs> Both of them is horrible either way. That fu- that's like a... My fucker butt and a bone comes out. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. That's good. I'm glad you said that. That's going to be an... This way, I don't have to answer the question now. That pussy going to look like Arby's meat. No, you have to answer it. You, you have to choose one. All right. Well... I choose butt. <laughs> okay. We got your answer, David. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> good Lord. How many times are you going to butt fuck Aphrodite? <laughs> Okay. Well, see how I rationalize this is. Well, wait a second. Here's here's a follow up question. Is this 
if I pick butt, is, 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 <laughs> is, it, is it after David fucked her in the butt, or is no, it no, still no, just no. her it's, fresh it's, it's butt fresh. today? It's reset. 65-year-old yeah, butt. Yeah. But <laughs> it is her butt right now. We don't know how long ago she showered or anything like that. Oh, it's my her goodness. butt at this current time, or vagina. Um... This is an interesting question. Uh, you know what? I'm going to let Jeremiah answer first. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard one. Jeremiah, you got to answer. Or Raiden, uh, Raiden, you have to answer. Oh, she's no, still she's there. back. She's listening. <laughs> God damn, Red Man. Hello. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Get her out of here, bro. Them fucking white ass teeth. Oh, but you be nice to Aphrodite. No, I love her, but we talk about her ass and her pussy, and he got her right. Oh down. my goodness gracious! All right. All right, you know what? Just to be nice, because I love Aphrodite. No, no, come on, Jeremiah. You got to answer now. Jeremiah, go ahead. Quick <laughs> answer Mary here. Man. If it makes you feel better, I'll, I'll ask uh, Raiden. Okay, the butthole. Oh, okay. How about Jeremiah? I know. The stakes are raised now. I can't. I can't let that slide. What do we got next on the show? There, the, the listeners want to know. I don't know if they want to know that bad. Yeah, they do. Come on, you have to answer one, Jerry. Just a quick answer. <laughs> Just a quick. Uh, you know what? Answer it for us, Jeremiah. <laughs> which one? <laughs> which? Well, wow, Tony's so subtle. <laughs> yeah, it's impossible Black here. Lives <laughs> matter. Normally, when we're doing our normal show, I, I subtly tap him and whisper. <laughs> Ask this Cap- is much harder. I have to literally. I'm, li- I'm like a football coach on the <laughs> sideline. Text me. <laughs> Ask Captain Underpants. All right, yeah, Captain Underpants. Fuck, yeah. All right, so we're just gonna say that Jerry meant uh, uh, Jeremiah meant uh, uh, but, meant. but for both. Yeah. All right, okay. so. We know what Joel Captain Rick. Underpants wants. I say get over there. What are you going to do, Joel? You got to answer. We know you can't get sick. <laughs> so. Uh, can I just sniff the afro? Come nope. on. A or you B. You got to pick Come one. On, you it. have to put your wiener into one of the two holes. This is what the show has become now. You know what? Blindfold me and throw me at her. <laughs> nope. That's not how you work. Still not an games. answer. Got to answer, Joel. We, we can only move on after you answer. Come on, Pin Diesel. Wow. I really picked the wrong week to not be drunk. Uh. <laughs> All you have to say is vagina or butthole. Um, okay. Okay, so that, that's a default of butt, by the way. Yeah. Right. Everyone, sure. everyone just Whatever. so we know that's a default. That's or both. That means, he's, that means he's dipping and going, okay, Jeremiah, thank you. Don't sing. Oh, my there you go. Very good. Uh, so that means that by, by not answering, Joel has picked both the butthole and the vagina back and forth, yep. uh, showing that he lo- he just can't get enough of in front of his one. parents. In yes, front of his parents. That's true. That's what he wanted to do. <laughs> he refuses to answer a simple question, and he's a comic. <laughs> All right. I love it. By the way, I'm going vagina, and I'm finishing inside of her. That's what I was wow. going to say. She can't get pregnant. That's what I was going to say. She can't get pregnant. It's going to look like uh, it's going to look like one of those. Uh, it's going to come out looking like one of those, uh, uh, like a like a chocolate donut, but with the vanilla icing, like a chocolate oh, cake. Yeah. Oh. yeah, like a chocolate birthday cake that you get from a grocery store. Oh, God. I'm going to shit in her <laughs> asshole. Okay, okay, okay. okay <laughs> That's for, save that for the uh, VR chat or something like that. Okay, we got uh, Robolo is back. Is that right? Did I see uh, that correctly? Let's see if uh, he, I felt like he like ran out once he got in here for a second. Uh... Yeah, there he is. He's, mm-hmm. uh, he's up there. Yeah, Robert. There we go. Yay, uh, Robolo. What's up, buddy? Hello. Let's get you unmuted. Gotta unmute. Gotta unmute yourself. Am I here? There yeah, you are. there he is, oh, Robolo. Uh, we loved your submission. It was incredible. How are you, dude? Oh, I am good. Thank you, fellas. I, I had a mini stroke right there. I, I was on the... Uh, in- Fun times, but uh, there was a miscommunication. I'm here. I was going to do a voice, but I, I was dying. And, like, I'm an Amish, like, autistic guy. So I was, like, trying to get this shit going in my Robolo gear. It was hilarious. Hey. Um, but here's uh, – oh, here's my friend here. Gavin, say what's up. <laughs> he liked being on TV last Uh-oh. time. I love it. Hi, Gavin. Oh, wait. What's this? What do we got here? Uh-oh. There's, like, a bow or a... – looks like some sort of uh, – I think, it's Some, like, I think it's from adamandeve.com like, or whatever. What? I think it's like bone in a go. Bo- bone in a go. Yeah, that sounds like it. That is from Adam and Eve. That's it. 
Uh, Robolo, tell us about the making of the uh, video that uh, you sent in for us. Tell us about that. A lot of production, an incredible video. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I uh, this child man, he just ate it really bad, <laughs> right, dude? Uh, okay, so we. I thought I was up to Auntie. You know, Robo- Manolo is is a big figure. He mentioned something about the cartel. And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna. The, Robolo's gonna step it up, and we're gonna go to the cartel and tell jokes. And, uh, you know, I asked my buddies to do it. And the poo is uh, made out of brownies and, ah. uh, from Sam's Club. Those fuckers hurt, man. Oh, it, <laughs> those, those, those poop in the butts hurt. Uh, and they are real painful. The first take that I did, it was like three hours of uh, heating up those brownies. <laughs> And it literally, yeah, it like it felt like it sprained my nose. My goodness, look um, how that kid popped up. This is like watching Crystalia's DMs. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, he, he knows him. It, it's topical, you know? Heck yeah, it works on everybody right now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hey, yeah, what are you getting doing? weirder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look, to make it creepier, here's Gilligan. Hey, hey. hi, Gilligan. What's up? What's up? Just my my brother who played uh, the 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 prostitute Ow. last time Ow. was supposed to be a skipper <laughs> doing cocaine, but well, oh man, chaos! I love it. Oh hey, my. can you tickle that kid for me? Oh, I don't know, man. I, I I'm trying to start a career. I don't know if he'll bite me, but all right. Uh, okay, get, him, get him good. More than that prostitute earlier. I don't know if she was a prostitute. No offense, but my goodness, sex worker. Oh, hold on, hold on, Gavin. Manolo's living it up, and uh, I am too, man. We just finished some popcorn. Oh my goodness! Wow. I mean, look, dude. It's uh, Manolo's got a lot of catching up. I've got a kid. Yeah. That I'm raising. Manolo, Manolo also has dude. a lot of kids out there running around. Yeah. It, probably. Yeah. I'm assuming so. Uh, I just, I just want uh, the, the theme like uh, the. Oh, hi, kid. Give me a box to the adult. <laughs> you want to stop? I don't know. This is getting weird. Right. They about to investigate his ass. Now it's getting weird. If you're wondering, hey, I wonder if it was weird earlier. Not really. Now it's getting weird. Hi. What's yeah, your dad's uh, password? Oh, boy. <laughs> he, like, he knows how to pick locks and stuff. He does? Well, this is kind of hilarious. I wish I could show you my family would hate it. There's literally like a team of people uh, taking the child. <laughs> taking the what? The child? The chi- all this sounds creepy. All the wording sounds... He's related to me. Nothing weird going on here. <laughs> well, when you say nothing weird yeah, going on Yeah, now it sounds really weird. What yeah. I don't, now I don't even think it's your child. <laughs> no, it's not. That's what I think oh. what he's telling us. <laughs> oh, my God. See, now I don't like this tickled question I asked because I thought going in it was his son. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> now. <laughs> that's Yikes. that. So, uh, Robolo, uh, how else has life been going for you this week, Robert? Oh, man. Uh, I, I am living it up, uh, trying to just stay positive during all this, you know, trying to keep busy, productive, trying to take up some more uh, healthy activities, man. I've, I've, I've uh, consumed a lot of pizza and disgusting food. Um, I watched a really weird movie the other day. I uh, got in a weird place. It was about, it, Contagion. You guys remember that movie, Contagion? Yes. That's the worst movie to watch right now. Yes. Uh, <laughs> not fun, but an outbreak I saw, and uh, that movie's hilarious. Kevin Spacey like has AIDS in it, and the Ebola virus. Something happens to him, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Still flustered over earlier. I, I had a stroke, I tell you. <laughs> okay. Boy. No, it's good. It's great. Lots of laughs during your video. Yep. All is well there. <clears throat> Thank what, you guys. What's yeah, the deal with yeah. Gilligan? The Gilligan thing is a little bit confusing to me. I don't. I don't recall seeing him in the video. Y- no, no. I uh, I was I was trying to get my brother to reprise his role as the prostitute, uh-huh. but uh, he couldn't tonight. So I, uh, I I thought of doing some Skipper Gilligan thing, and we didn't have much planning because I didn't know if we were going to be on or not. But uh, it's <laughs> it's just a fun. I mean, there might be some symbolism there. I don't know. It's like a David Lynch movie. You just pretend you know what's going on. And you know, when cool. when all else fails and you have a half put together idea like Gilligan in the background, you just do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's what I learned at uh, UCB. Is oh yeah, 
is <laughs> if you have if you have plan your characters, uh, just roll with it and hope for the best. And you did that here. Uh, the video was unbelievable. Again, big pop on the werewolf coming out of nowhere. Great stuff, dude. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah, no, the, the last video was was out, out of whim. You know, I, I didn't know if I was going to do a normal character, but I was just compelled because Manolo is so hilarious. And so I did did that video, and I got a lot of good responses, and, and that feels good, man. I mean, it's it's a fucking weird time. We, we have no idea if we're going to be able to sit in a patio at a Chili's or if we're going to, you know, all get whatever it is. It's just, it's nice to, I, I appreciate you guys doing the show during all this. And, I have a question. Uh, is is that a uh, belt that kids above the bed behind you? It is, yeah, because it was mine, and he, he made it his. It looks but, very uh, small. <laughs> yeah. All right, bud. Fun times. Fun times Thank chatting you with you. Thank you so much. I, again, you're one of the guys with an open invite. Anytime you uh, you send us a Very submission, funny, we're going to uh, shoehorn you right in there. Great stuff, Thank dude. You, Thank you so much. Very creative. Rabolo, ladies and gentlemen. is a podcast. What's your, uh, what, what's your social media, Robert? Uh, uh, Robert Land Pod. Uh, yeah, on Instagram, Twitter. Robert Land Pod, all one word. There you go. There he goes, Robolo, everybody. Yeah. Fun times. We're plowing through it. Let's go through another one. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this guy has uh, submitted before, and he's submitted again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a submission from Devin Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We had the best time at your party. The wife and I, thank you very much. Here we go, Devin Clark. Hey, what up, y'all? I used to work at Yahoo. You guys remember Yahoo? Yahoo was a hard job, man. We weren't allowed to Google anything. Google was like the N-word at Yahoo. Don't say it, don't use it. They were very strict. I remember there was a lady there, she was brand new, and she said it just out of habit, you know? She was like, okay, I'll Google it. She was never seen again. I was like, what happened to Pam? Pam's been erased, erased. Damn. I need a job though. I mean, my uncle owns a hot tub store called American Hot Tubs. He said the industry's been hit very hard. He's throwing a hot tubs matter sale right now. It's like Black Lives Matter and so do hot tubs. Get your black ass in a hot tub. 30% off. Very disrespectful. I was out there protesting, but I was not looting, okay? Uh, I was angry, but I'm also unemployed. Like, can I loot a job? Can I loot gainful employment? I would love to run into a store and then run out holding a career. Like, look, guys, I'm a new manager at Applebee's. I, I looted this job. I start tomorrow. Hell yeah. Devin Clark. Absolutely doodly. That's how it's done. Right there. Jokes, great. baby. Jokes. Hello? Hello, Devin. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right, man. I was uh, kind of tired. I was... I was in a long ass line this morning. I've been in line for like three hours. Yeah, where were you, where were you in line for? I was trying to get my uh, certificate of vaccination of ID. That didn't hit. All right, okay. Oh, oh, oh the, the COVID, back. the Damn. callback. Yeah. That's right. To to the Afro debt. Okay. Yeah. Right. No, you got starting, it. I'm starting off strong. Here it was go. good. No, it was good. It was good. I love it, Devin. Where in the where in the world are you? I'm in Hollywood right now. Um, I'm actually at a Motel 6. I've been living here for a while since the pandemic. Whoa. The pandemic's kind of kicking my ass. How expensive is that? Well, see, um, I'm through, it's through the VA, transitional housing. Oh, like, that's great. I got, I, it was a, the pandemic was terrible timing. Like I, had, uh, I, I was renting a room in a house in um, Reseda. And then I, I wanted to move it to my own place, but I needed to save some money. I had a full-time job. So I said, hey, man, I asked a cousin. Let me sleep in your couch for hundred dollars a month for like a month, so I can save up money to move into my own spot. Mm-hmm. And I moved out March first. Pandemic hit fifteenth. Got furloughed on my job, lost money, so I had to call the VA for help. That's good. And, and the VA uh, was there for you. <clears throat> Veterans are doing pretty good right now, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but looking at Manolo, man, it was like a, he's living the complete opposite of me. He's Half naked, gorgeous women in a nice house. Yeah, he's I'm at, in a Motel Six. He's at a Motel Six. <laughs> <laughs> wow, hotel. I can't believe how good the Wi-Fi is at Motel Six in Hollywood. <laughs> That's know, the right? thing that's surprising me it's the most. Better than this, my house. This is off my phone. Man. It's, it's much oh, better it's than off your phone. F- 
famously <laughs> better than David Lucas's <laughs> Wi-Fi. Some of the worst Wi-Fi. Dude, that's off his phone, and he has Sprint. Incredible. Yeah. Just incredible. Yeah. My goodness. You look so familiar, bro. Where are you from? I'm from the Bay Area, but I live in L.A. area. Have you been on I my live before? Say what? Have you been on my IG live before? Have we roasted? Nah. Oh, you nah. just got a familiar. I see you at the store. You, you work there. I see you. Oh, that's probably that's, that's what probably it what it is. Okay. Yeah. What branch of the military were you in, Devin? Army. Okay. Did you go anywhere? Did you go overseas or anything? No, man. Uh, I had a, it was not a great experience. I spent two years in the army just trying to get out. Really, uh, I was a uh, night <laughs> radar repair. Uh-huh. It's not a kind of job. Put me in, coach. Long process. Seek me yeah. out. <laughs> A real American, a veteran, a real American hero, right there. Salvation Army, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, Devin. Yeah. So, 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 yeah. <laughs> so what? Do you, what have you been doing for fun? You're, you're holed up at a hotel in Hollywood. What have you been doing to take your mind off all the stress? Well, I've been doing a lot of Zoom shows, but I also been trying to figure out a way to out of my position. Like I decided to, to start a T-shirt company because nobody's doing that, right? So oh, I got God. a T-shirt company, and I'm gonna just make T-shirts. I got a good idea for one called uh, uh, Don't Be Gay in Mexico. We'll put that one okay, show. Brian. Okay, Brian. Taps, nigga. <laughs> Don't Be Gay in Mexico. That's a good one. Why does every That's... black man start a t-shirt business? All my black friends back home ask me. Really? They ask me to invest in a t-shirt business. They're like, bro, you got to do is buy 300 t-shirts. I'm like, no. <laughs> what else are they going to sell at the car washes? <laughs> Hey man, get your motherfucking thong, 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 thong head ass up out of here, bro. Oh shit! <laughs> wow, so, Devin, how long you been doing stand up? Eight years. Eight yeah. years, and how long ago did you move to Hollywood or to uh, LA? I'm here in September last year, Dallas. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I, I really liked his set, though. I thought that was really good. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. That is a great nice. bit, bro. God damn, that was a great bit, but it's fucking time it's piece. It's not going to last long. Well, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's a, that's one of those topical type things. Yeah. Yeah, but it's good. It's good no, to it's a great joke. It's good to exercise both. Topical's good when it's but good. But as far as t- t-shirts, David, man, you need to put I, uh, I choose butt on a t-shirt. I think that'll sell. No. Nah, that was just in that instance with her, bro. <laughs> I just don't trust that pussy. Oh my goodness. Why why do you not trust Oh, come on, Brian. No, come on. No. Oh, yeah. Why don't you trust Aphrodite's pussy? Cuz, bro, she like, I don't know, bro. A lot of miles. Like, nigga, we talk about dick from the 70s, don't been in there. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I think there's a TV I think there's a TV guide in there. She got the shaft yeah. from Shaft. That bitch got the bullet that killed Martin Luther King in her pussy. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> She has nine of those ten free CDs you get from Columbia. Okay, you can yeah, hold right. you can hold a Black Lives Matter protest to her pussy. Okay, <laughs> all right. All right. Come on. But got a natural uh, history African American museum. And- <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> this line of David Lucas jokes brought to you by Casa Noble Tequila. <laughs> got a Black Lives Matter. <laughs> All right. Well, Devin, anything else crazy we should know about you or your life? Uh, um, your got pe- a kid. Oh, really? How old's your kid? Five. Got a five-year-old daughter. Oh, yeah. shit. My daughter's same age, bro. Really? Okay. Maybe cool. that's how you guys know each other. Uh, right. Single parent teacher conferences. They should, <laughs> you should, they should be friends. No, nah, I mean, both live d- in Los Angeles. I know. Your daughter not here, huh? Well, she's in the other room at Motel City. No, she has <laughs> Uh, she lives in Irvine with her mom. Oh, okay. My daughter's the only black kid at her school, so I know our kids don't go together. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a brag God. and a half. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that don't know, in the black community, if you tell another black person, my right. kid goes to the all-white school, that's like... <laughs> that's a that's an argument like, ender right nigga, there. Nigga, I'm better than you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yep. Yeah. I'm just playing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, you funny as fuck, though, bro. That shit made me giggle, bro. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Really great stuff, Devin. So fun to have your submission. Thank you so much. I need to try harder with the submissions. I know people doing sketches and short films and shit. Hey, be be goofy with it. Be be goofy with it. Use that set that you have. You know, use the Motel 6 to your advantage. Yeah, do a review of the Motel 6. Imagine you doing a review of the stupid shit that you see every day, like... Whatever. There you go. Red Band just wrote a sketch right then in front of all Boom. of us. I'm going to do that. I like it. All right. If you do it, we'll play it next week. There you go. Okay. Then I'm going to put it on a t-shirt. 
<laughs> yep, absolutely, 100%. The Motel 6 sketch by Devin Clark t-shirt available next week. So there goes Devin Clark, everybody. Thank you, Devin. All right. That was Devin Clark. And now, and only now, in your final hour, do you realize the true power of the dark side as I present to you my favorite comedian right now. You know, a guy who, to me, um, while he's, uh, you know, still fresh and uh, new technically as a stand-up comedian, um, he is a comedy veteran and, to me, you know, is filling the shoes of some of my favorite out-of-the-box creative people like Brody Stevens and, Mm. you know, so many great comedians that, uh, you know, one door closes, another one opens, and this is one of my favorites, the great Michael Lehrer, everybody. Here we go. Little bit of music for some reason. Here's Michael Lehrer. (laughs) Drug addiction is a systematic failure and worse targeting. Why does everyone get sympathy except cocaine? Big Pharma has blood on his hands. You fucking coke whore. Let anyone suck your wheelchair dick for this sweet cocoa. I sold my son Colin for cocaine. So many NBA players are stunned on with Corona. Magic Johnson's considering a comeback. Positively magic. Civility. U.S. law enforcement agencies talk to each other like a bunch of Rudy Tuesdays. FBI, FBI, bye bye. And take it to your desk with your calculators. Big word calculator coming from the CIA. I say go kill yourself. But at least you're not dying back chasing. D-A, slogan roll, alphabet soup. Our seizures pay for your babies in my cock mix. Is there a problem here? <laughs> then why all the rudeness? Would you like coffee? <laughs> you know I'm double parked. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Cunningham and NASCAR still employs moron custodians. One left in a noose in the garage of a Bubba Wallace. NASCAR plans to investigate, including removing from their gift shop the kids' book. Catch the goose on the loose when the noose. Every sport is stepping up. For over a hundred years, MLB has spelled BLM backwards. Donald Trump bragged this week about the U.S.'s booming lobster industry. Sales of lobster are up in Maine. Mail order bride has never been more affordable. And you want to believe how cheap it is to get a private island dick from a child. <laughs> Okay, fuck yeah. An unorthodox wild submission from the great Michael Lair, everybody. Hell yeah. And here he is. He's with us right now. Are you unmuted, Michael? We gotta unmute you. Hold on a second. Do you hear me? Yes, Yes. we hear you now. Hello, Michael. Do you think you hear me? (laughs) Yes. Oh yeah, how are the new Bluetooths working out? We taught we had a quick chat during sound check and Michael informed us that he has new Bluetooth uh, speakers that he's very excited from a, from a daddy. Is there a word? 
<laughs> How are they working out? How are the new Bluetooths? I love them. They're real high end, and I can talk hands free, so I can do my tai chi. Fuck yeah, dude! Looking ripped today. No doubt. Fuck yeah, man! Absolutely. So, how's life going? Big week this week, huh? But again, my dad saw Kid Tony for the first time. Oh, wow. That's awesome. How'd that go? Is he a fan of the show now? He didn't know I was sick. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wh- wh- <laughs> What a horrible way to find out your son has Lou Gehrig's disease. You're just tuning into it, watch it, enjoy a comedy show, and boom. You're going to outlive your own son. What a horrible way to find out. Yeah, but you know, the gift of laughter solves all crimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, um, yeah. Red Band, will yeah. you bring up the Skin Fest bio? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. Have they changed yeah. that bio yet yeah. for you? Hold this on. has been. Yes! A, this is, will you read it, yeah, Tony? Hold, hold yeah, this has been a long, ongoing uh, uh, yeah. thing. They finally. Because Luis J. Gomez doesn't like money, but oh. I'm forcing him. All the Hollywood power pumpers lit him up like a fucking Christmas tree. <laughs> and I got one I want. Okay. Why don't you read it? Yeah, me. I'm going to read it. it. They changed it. It was originally Mike Lehrer. And you famously said, who the fuck is that? And they changed it. Now your actual name is there. And then it says, uh, so it says Michael Lehrer. And then it just says, Tony Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but get this Michael's all jacked up from motor neuron disease no 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 God's hands again in parentheses hey that name right red man what's happening is that the wrong bio no it ain't right that's, <laughs> that's what you sent me and honestly uh, Michael being honest I read it earlier and I think he <laughs> I think they changed it <laughs> Did they change it on you? I don't know. What's the uh <laughs> <laughs> Oh I think Yeah, Lewis is trolling him, it's pretty apparent. <laughs> wow. This, um, you're, you're gonna get it, Lewis J is name first. Oh my goodness! I don't this know what's is what's going on. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, like honestly, Michael sent me a link earlier, and uh, that's the link. Yeah, they may have changed it again, Michael. It looks like this is going to continue to be an ongoing, um, an ongoing problem in your life. I know this must again, be. Again, they don't like money. Yeah, and all I do is make money. That's true. I think. Uh, I think. Um, I don't think I'm. I'm pretty sure Skankfest South might be delayed again. Anyway, things are looking a little yeah. bit rough in uh, Houston right yeah. now. Yeah, we'll, s- we'll see what happens. Hey, get this. You know how on the Facebook I uh, accidentally slammed into that race war. No, I didn't even know about this. You're in a um, race war. Cool. Uh, um, well, anyway, long story short, a good friend of mine, well, um, you know, we butt his head just a little, but it'll be fine. But I haven't, to right before, give him a slash tip on, um, on, uh, medical Suck on Michael, have you been day drinking today? <laughs> <laughs> well, you look slower than usual, mother. You look yeah, better. You, you, you look better than ever, but you sound like shit tonight. 
Okay, okay, well, that didn't get a laugh, so now it just seems really mean. Hashtag tune. <laughs> yeah. I made my own bed. You're right. I drank. You're right. I can't imagine. You're right. <laughs> Everyone. You're right. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. You know what? Right. Yeah. All right. What I'm gonna get out of here, but no. I want to tell you a few things. One, Martin Moreau was in my video with me, a friend of mine, to stand up. Yeah, I'm Martin M. Moreau, all one word, Martin M. Moreau, M O R R O W. On uh, yeah. that's his Instagram and his Twitter, and, and you're on Jeremiah's podcast. You're on. Top. Oh, this red band has the link, but um, uh, Nemeth Brothers. Every shirt you buy, this they're like triple matching the funds for um, great charities. And yeah. helping support what's happening. Yeah, it's ProWrestlingTees.com. And I have a feeling that Tony already knows this company. but uh... Yes, I do. I know them well. Very, very well. They have a lot of cool things going on, always. Great and uh, the Nemeth brothers, of course, that's uh, the great Nick Nemeth, a.k.a. Dolph Ziggler, who is a hybrid, high-level high level professional wrestler, former WWE champion, could be a champion again any day now coming up, and um, also a very good stand-up comedian. Tours all around the world with the great Sarah Tiana. Look at this. You could just choose any wrestler. Like, I'm an Andre guy. Yep. Look at this shit. No, they, they have, this is like, that shitload just for Andre the Giant? They literally have all the best Look t-shirts there. I'm a Razor Ramon fan. They, uh, they have an incredible uh, store that you can walk in in Chicago, Illinois. I always go there when I'm in Chicago. Yeah, and really? uh, Did you go with us? Me, you, and Soder. That's right. Oh, That's yeah, I wasn't there. I said in oh, Joel. Yeah. yeah. Calm down. Very fun. And you're Calm on, down, um, Coro Ninja. <laughs> Calm down. You're on uh, Jeremiah's podcast this week. Yeah, and not drunk. So listen. Yeah, that's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. They Jeremiah- came out. The reviews are in, baby. Fuck yeah. Broadway, here we come. And this is your uh <laughs> this is also your uh one year anniversary of doing stand up, is that correct? Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, and wanna hear my first show? Yes. Alright. I roll on stage. And I'm shaking, and I'm nervous, and I go, when people see me, and they're struggling to talk, and shrinking uncontrollably, they always have the same question. The answer is yes. I fuck on the first day. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with it. Still funny a year later. Absolutely. Put in that work, baby. <laughs> Iron sharp and iron. Though my videos are getting too long. I'm in the face. No, 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 no. Michael, I, 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 I appreciate your video quality that you've been sending in lately. I love the opening. Like I saw the unedited version of you typing in the the beginning part, your your graphic part. Like you sent that to me. I love it. You are kicking ass, man. Yep. I love it. And please make your videos longer. Yep. Yep. All right, you're full of shit. Cause no, no, no. We'll talk like in like we'll talk in chat later. We'll talk like in chat. Assholes. Everyone has one, <laughs> and as far as my videos, everyone has a different opinion. That's right, one hundred percent. I love it. I love it. You know, you have full creative control. You're given the keys oh, to the. Right. You're given the keys to the car. Yeah. All right. Especially since uh, he turned me on to this uh, lion's mane. You guys know about this? Yeah, the mushrooms. The mushrooms. Yep. Tony. I'm hey, too, explain, explain it for the audience. I'm oh. two weeks in, and let me tell you something. I was talking with him. Michael and I 
text a lot. He's a shockingly fast texter. I don't know if he does. Uh, I can't. I don't know whether he fucking uses voice activated or his nose. I don't know how he does it, but this mother. You know it's not voice. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you don't know, you know it's not voice. <gasps> That's for sure because that would that would be some I'll tough. Show you. That would be. I yeah. use this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> I go. I love that thing. I have that too. Oh wow! I have that. What, I, what I, have that, that? No, I have that also, Michael. It's so good. Like what? you could just yeah. walk around the house and like you just have the phone floating in front of you. Now in the future, there's not going to be a thing around your neck. It's just going to wow. be like hovering in front of your face. It's going to be amazing. Okay, exactly. the liquor has I kicked in. This. It's seat <laughs> number one. I make all my videos like this. I love it. Red cool, Red Band has one of those, but he uses it for a frosty from Wendy's. He just <laughs> sips it all day. <laughs> That's incredible. But anyway, Michael Michael and I text a lot now and um and he turned me on to this uh, lion's mane cuz we were talking about how fucking unbelievable mane? his brain is and he gives a lot of credit to that which uh helps your uh, motor neurons and things like that. It just keeps you fucking extra sharp and and uh normally I'm not a big supplement guy and all that, but um it's been now. It's been two weeks. What I've is been this? I'm, we're, I'm looking at this website. Right? Is this the right website? Yeah. What are you talking? About? Um, what is this? What's it's, the best make one, sure Michael? You go to Paul Stamets. Yeah. His company. Yeah. Paul that. Stamets? Yeah. There is a specific Paul company. Stamets. He's a Rogan friend. Oh. Yeah. He's on there all the time. Yeah, I think. I think. But his company makes them. Yeah. Yeah, Paul Stamets. The best ones. Uh-huh. He's the foremost mushroom expert in the country. And just like magic mushrooms, you know, they have so many different benefits and qualities in this and that. But uh, I've been trying to, you know, sharpen up because I've been fucking, you know, not performing and this and that. And and you don't know exactly where your brain is at. And this stuff, I mean, I don't know. I th- I'm pretty positive it's fucking working. I think it makes me, uh, I get shit done faster and get to relax quicker in the day because I, uh, take care of all my crapola early in the morning and clear thoughts. And I mean, I was riffing this weekend on stage after not doing it for three and a half months. It was my first time performing with lion's mane running through my veins. And I'm just What's saying. What's the effects? What's it like, like, I just think it, it's just a uh, normal sharpness, just like sort of anything. You know what I mean? Like it's, uh, I've heard of people that have concussions eating it to sort of like help their rehabilitation. Yep. And- yep oh exactly. yeah. It, um, hormonal- <laughs> Motor neuron. Yeah. No. Neuron. It's brain shit. It's good for your brain is the point. And uh yeah. and Michael yeah. Michael hooked it up. So um what if you take it that and uh Afro Afro brain at the same time? Wait. Alpha brain? Alpha brain. Oh, boy. Alpha brain. Oh boy. I'm thinking of Aphrodite. Star fucking Levitin. David goes, I'll do the butt. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you, it's, Michael. Isn't it crazy that David got stone cold sober looking at Red Band? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's wasted today. <laughs> Michael, go ahead. Alright. You know how I'm melting? Yeah. Alright. So, I know everyone that asks you to ask Joe Rogan shit. And you know I'm not that guy. But tell him, you have a friend who is melting. And ask Holy Mushrooms if he has any mushrooms to maybe help me. And I take his mushrooms. Four times a day. Okay. I will ask Joe Rogan. That's not a problem at all. I will ask Joe if Polly Mushrooms has any special mushrooms for my friend that is melting Lou Gehrig's disease a uh, few years into ALS. And if he has anything special and that he takes his mushrooms four times a day. And if he has anything extra, that would be great to know. Right? Is that right? 
Why were you talking shit that you couldn't understand me? Oh. And you got all of it right. No, you. No, what happened is that you sobered up when you saw Red Band as well. And uh, you actually sobered up through this interview as well. Something about Afro Brain sobered up everybody, too. Uh, like, what is he talking about? <laughs> oh, my goodness. The sound effects are loud, everybody. Michael, we love you. Love you, Michael. Thank you so much. You're the fucking king. You're a god. I love you guys. Have a bless everyone. And in five minutes, I'm going to start this week's video. Yeah, we love it. All right. Michael, we love you. Have a good night, buddy. There goes Michael Lair, everyone. The great Ryan J. E. Belt drew tonight's episode, believe it or not. And that is right here. Here's the drawing. Look at that. Oh, my goodness oh, gracious. Geez. How fucking cool is that? It's like a it's like a Mega Man type of... Is that right? What is that? It's like Mega Man meets Mortal Kombat. It's very cool. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. No, that's, that, that's pretty much it. That's incredible. Little, little, Mecha, little, little Mortal Kombat. Yeah. That is awesome, man. He did that from the start of the episode to now. While you all sat around doing probably less than nothing, he completed that entire project. Just incredible. Every print's available at RyanJBelt.com. He's doing incredible auctions right now. He is giving uh, an, you all an opportunity to uh, to get state-of-the-art Kill Tony artwork at a, uh, at a fun price. And it all, you know, it all goes to a good cause. Ryan J. E. Belt, support your local white artist. You know what I mean? Huh. All this stuff going on, people are forgetting about white artists out there and you know Ryan J. You know what? We, uh, could actually, we could actually go to his website right now and look at it for the first time. Okay. RyanJEbelt.com? Yeah, Ryan J. E. Belt. Here we go. We're yeah, going to RyanJEbelt.com for the first time in this show's history. Here we go. Right. Oh, is this. What is this? Get out of here, dude. Uh. All right. Look at that. Heck yeah. Here we go. And then you're going to go to uh, Kill Kill Tony. Tony. Oh, there it is. Easy to navigate website. Look at that. Look at all that incredible artwork. Look at this one. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, look at that. An oldie but a goodie. I remember that episode. Ian Edwards. Yep. Ian Edwards. You got a bunch of good ones in here. There goes uh, Burt Kreischer and Kirk Fox right there. I remember that one very clearly. It goes on and on. There's so many. That's Sinbad and... Uh, and um, Dan St. Germain. Dan St. Germain, indeed. And Gerard oh, it's Carmichael. Gerard Carmichael, not Sinbad. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. My goodness. Anyway, a bunch of dates going up, things like that. Everything's happening. Just signed on today to do La Jolla, July 9th through the 12th. Unfortunately, and trust me, I fought long and hard for this, but unfortunately, we can't do a Kill Tony that week. Unless we do like a hotel episode. I don't know what that means <laughs> at all. This is, man, do I not miss the days of you drinking during Kill Tony. This is exciting. This is a great reminder of the difference. Uh, anyway, uh, but uh, I have a new website, TonyHinchcliffe.com. I mean, not new. They just revamped it. It's a little bit sleeker, easier to see the upcoming tour dates, even though never t- never a worse time to have clean, sleek, upcoming tour dates on your website. Perfect timing, Tony. You're such a great businessman. Uh, but a bunch of dates are there. I mean, we're going to try our best to make it to these things. It's a nightmare. I'm booked for Miami. At the end of July. Hey, look, look at Tony's new website. Look at that. Look at that. Straight to the dates, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I wanted. Said, fuck this shit. Give them the dates. They're like, what about your bio? What about that? Kill and Tony. What I about- like it, too, because you can, like, click on just the Tony, uh, yeah. Kill Tony dates. Yeah, it's very clear now. That was a, that was a thing that annoyed me forever. There's Kill Tony. If you want to see me do stand-up, that's Tony Hinchcliffe. There's stuff coming up. Look at this. Go wait. Scroll up. Uh, prayers scroll, out to sc- Andrew. Scroll up a second. So let me just show you how. Okay, Boston's there, and then Miami's above Boston, right? Yeah, it's pretty much, pretty much all the highest COVID-rated cities. <laughs> I turned down Phoenix uh, last week because they're like, "You want to go to Phoenix in two weeks? It's a, it's only on the table for a second. I'm like, 
No. <laughs> what are we talking about? Like, do you have a life insurance policy out on me right now? Like, what's happening? Phoenix, Miami, Houston, Brazil. They've tried to get me to Brazil. No, I'm kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> Anyway, Go it's all China. happening. Sue Roast in China. Roast Master class is happening. We're having a lot of fun over there. We're at over 100 students on my new weekly show. It's a Patreon thing. So if you're poor, don't even tease yourself by going to my Patreon because it is it is a show of value. So uh, don't don't go there and then become completely depressed. Oh, you can't afford it. What the fuck is this? I'll just watch reruns of Joe Rogan. Yes, yes, you will because you're poor. But if you're not poor... <laughs> Go to patreon.com slash hingecliff and uh, join the new class. You get a diploma, a bumper sticker, a bunch of cool shit, a roast master class. Anyway, here's the rest of the crew. The leader of the band, ladies and gentlemen, as always, my lover, a guy who I've been all around the world with, all right? We talked earlier about Afro's butthole or vagina. This is a man that I would have sex with if he let me. Jeremiah Watkins. I don't know. I'm trying to be nice. (laughs) Hey, there it is. And he's back, people. Venmo at Jeremiah Watkins. And uh, Michael Lair is on uh, Jeremiah Wonders this week. We had a great conversation and uh, a lot of fun improv on there. And uh, hey, will I'll you tell be, us uh, what the fuck you were talking about earlier, though, with the, uh, like, the Will Arnett? Not Will Arnett, but. Uh, okay, Brian. Uh, and then uh, I'll actually be at uh, the Tempe Improv headlining a couple nights at the end of July. Uh, so I'll see you at Tempe, and uh, uh, good to be back, guys. There Thanks you go. So you're getting you're me. getting the weekends that I'm turning down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. The Tempe Improv, one of the best clubs in the country. Jeremiah is a monster. He's out there doing great material and taking risks, making videos for you people, doing crowd work bunch of fun stuff jeremiah watkins catch him at everything joel berg joel jimenez was here tonight i'm gonna to let you guys in on a secret he was the uh the it ninja then <laughs> he was the ninja the whole time joel tell us something you got the mostly sorry podcast you're mostly sorry on social media what else that's it we premiere the new episode tomorrow we've been doing live chat so tomorrow five o'clock la time whatever the fuck else you're we love you joel no one's had more corona scares than this guy i mean it is <laughs> yeah. incredible every more, can i just say too yeah when i got here i don't know <laughs> david did something and then his spit flew into my eye oh. this whole <laughs> show that is all i've been thinking about yeah i put purell on my face yeah I'm freaking out. I'm going to go home, probably get tested again this week. That's good. So thanks. That's Five good. Times. Motherfucker, you good. I ain't got shit. No. Damn right. David Lucas. At David Lucas. Funny, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Tell us more. Uh, we'll see what's up, man. Hopefully, I'll be in La Jolla with Tony, the dates mm-hmm. he's talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, but other than that, uh, I ain't got shit. I just did the American Comedy Company this past weekend in San Diego. Shout out to them boys down there. It was lovely. Thanks for everybody who came out. Thanks for all the Kill Tony fans who came. A lot of Kill Tony fans showed up and showed the You're fuck You're goddamn out. motherfucking right. Yes. Kill Tony fans are the best comedy fans in the world. Yes, There's no are. doubt about it. Who would have guessed that uh, people who watch a show where comedians talk to comedians about comedy, who would guess that they would be the best comedy fans? Right. Um, and also David Lucas's episode of uh, He's a Guest Professor. On this uh, episode that just dropped last yeah, night yeah. on the new Roastmaster class. People have been tagging me in it already, man. And you were, you were an incredible interview. He talks about his method, which is very helpful for people that are just learning how to make fun of people, about uh, identifying people as the animal that they look closest like, and then a <laughs> hobby that you that animal would do. It's incredible. He literally gives you a... Uh, a uh, 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 a playbook on how to uh, have silly, fun roast jokes. It's right. really cool, really it awesome hard. stuff. It was two hours right. you and I spent together almost. Damn. So, um, anyway, right, Red Band. Hey guys, uh, we are recording right now from Death Squad Studios. We do a podcast called Dead Air every <laughs> Tuesday with Brian Holtzman and then William Montgomery and David Lucas every Wednesday. Check it out, DeathSquad.tv. Fuck yeah, Red Band's about to vomit right now. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> drunk as I haven't seen you this drunk in three and a half months. <laughs> what is this, San Francisco? <laughs> oh no. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, toys. <laughs> <laughs>